Now in 2018, they're telling you the, the existential threat to America is a bunch of poor refugees a thousand miles away. They're even taking our brave troops away from their families for a political stunt. President Obama is sending 1,200 National Guard troops to boost security along the U.S.-Mexican border. In addition to the troops, the president is also requesting $500 million for border security. We simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. Our message absolutely is don't send your children unaccompanied uh, on trains or through, uh, through a bunch of smugglers. We don't even know how many of these kids don't make it and may have been waylaid into sex trafficking or killed because they fell off a train. We have no way of tracking that. Our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before. We need to try to incentivize Mexico to do more. We are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years. If they've committed transgressions of whatever kind, they should be obviously deported. We will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crime. Illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress on dealing with the millions of illegal immigrants who are here now and on rationalizing our system of legal immigration. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration.